Now that we have the property lines, we're now ready to add the grids. And the CAD file actually defined the location of the grids. Before we add the grids, notice that this is in, in, in an incline. It's uh, pointing towards the true north. So we need to change that to project north. Shortcut for grid is GR. Or you can go to the architecture tab and you can see grid right there. Why, but why go there if you can type GR? Okay. So that's the bubble size of your grid. So there are different bubble size or options. You can always edit the type, duplicate it first, and make some changes if you want to. That's how you do that in Revit. Otherwise, we can accept the default. Zoom in. Now, why is this big? Well, because we are in scale 1 to 300. Okay, so I can change that to 1 to 100, and that should uh, get or resize. But for now, I'm just going to continue. Notice that Revit is wise enough to know that the next number is 2. You can always change that if you want to. Okay, 3, right? Very bright. Revit is a very bright software until you go this way. Now he doesn't know that that's... See, if I'm going horizontal, Revit should know that that should be now a letter. So I'll stop by hitting escape twice or click the modify button. Click and start this with the letter A. Once you do that, type GR again to start or restart the grid command and Revit becomes wise again. Okay. Hit escape twice to cancel the command. So that's how you place grids. Okay.